which are in a bath of liquid nitrogen, which Mike's kindly fixed up for us. And the liquid nitrogen is because these are high temperature superconductors. Now, what that means is, I'll just give you Mike time to really focus in, because this is so all about focus. This is something called the Mike effect. They're only two black discs. They look very benign, but actually very expensive. They're made of yttrium, barium, and copper oxide, and this is not a complicated source. I've got in my hand here a neodymium block. I'll just hold it up here so Mike can see it. Can you see that? Right, and it's right here. There's no sort of, this isn't a pre record or anything. You can see my hand there, look. Okay, right. Now, I'm asked, I'm, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, how interesting can this be? Well, let's see. Because the Meissner effect disallows magnetic fields to form. And so, if I'm very careful, if I put this block right here, it floats all by itself. And in fact, we can, we can actually play with it a bit and make it spin like so. Isn't that cute? And if we were really sort of um, wanted to sort of showboat a little bit, I'd put a £10 note, which I had in my pocket, which I no longer have. Dave, if you need my £10 note. And um, instead of using... Huh? You can have a 20. A 20. Now we're, now we're talking, all right? We can actually slip Mike's £20 note between the two. And as you can see, it just sits there looking all innocent by nine. Isn't that great? You will never see that again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's called the Meissner effect. Look it up on Wikipedia, if you will. There are a few of these on YouTube, and by tomorrow, this will be on YouTube because we're filming it, so you can see the highlights of this show anyway. So thank you very much. That's the Meissner effect.